my job here is to make jewelry that comes from my heart. I do one of a kinds now. I don't do multiples of things like I used to. I do one of a kinds and I pour my whole self into them. Once you get it started, you follow whatever line you're trying to go toward. And you don't push it, you let the saw do the work, and you can saw anything you'd like to. You can saw, you can turn, and you can even make turns, 90 degree turns. You just keep sawing as you're turning, like that, and keep sawing, keep sawing, never stop, and then let it come straight out, and there's your, there's your piece out of it, see? Soldering studio is separate from the rest of the studio because the leftovers from soldering um, are not good for you. Uh, the, the puff that comes up after you solder something is actually cyanide, so you don't want to be breathing too much of that. I have different kinds of solder, little tiny pieces of solder. And what I do is I will paint this with this white flux is what we call it, and all it is really is borax and suspended glass, gritty glass. And when you melt it, it actually becomes a sheen of glass over the top of this solder. So it keeps the metal from oxidizing before this melts. And I do a lot of sweat soldering for my pieces because it gives them, it gives them a 3D texture. I'm able to use multi-metals, which you can't do when you're, um, when you're casting something. And it's more like a little painting that way, out of metal. And along with the stamping that I do, um, I can make things very, very ornate. And, you know, for me, more is better when it comes to jewelry. I want things to be real, real ornate. Because I find the more ornate they are, the more precious that they feel to you. Whether it's made of brass, silver, or platinum. It's going to look very precious when everything is done. And I have a huge collection of stamps. Not only stamps that are letters, but stamps that actually have little faces on them and eyes and hearts and stars. And you'll notice that before they're polished, you don't. S it's harder to see all the stamping. But once I darken them, and then repolish them, it leaves all the darkness in the little craters. Then you can see all the faces and the iconography that I've done on the back of the piece. And this is another piece that's got a lot of sweat soldering. So the top of this piece, of course, is um, cast, but then all around it is not. And the setting is done on a flat piece of metal, and then I, then I put all of this over the top of it. So it's done all separately and then put together. It's almost done. I usually do my own designs, but if somebody has a great dream that they want me to do, I'd love to do it. I think that would be really fun. I've done that before, and it's always really gratifying. Um, and I believe that's what jewelry is for more than showing how rich you are. It's about showing, it's about an intimacy to you and whatever you want to show to your public, but it's for you. I'm all about the magic, the magic of wearing beautiful work and having beautiful work.